Hello and welcome to more Vintage Cube Draft. We, in this pack, have... Uh, Mold Drifter is okay. In Vintage Cube, it's kind of expensive. Five mana is kind of a lot. I mean, it's still really good. Um, and you get a body. Um, you could also, like, combo this with Kiki Jiki or reanimate it, things like that. Inquisition is just a great turn one play. Um, really disrupt your opponent, but it does kind of fall off as the game goes on. It's a pretty bad top deck. Phyrexian Metamorph is the most like versatile. It's just going to be good in most decks. It's effectively colorless, so you can put it in anything. And um, it's an artifact, so there's some upside there. Ugin's great. Um, eight mana is a lot. And I think Ugin is a lot worse in this cube because so many of the permanents are colorless. So being able to exile everything isn't as likely. I don't know what to go with. I'm kind of leaning towards Inquisition, but Metamorph is also just like a decent start. I think I'm going to try and take the... What do I want? I'm going to take Metamorph. I think it keeps me the most open. And it's probably just better than Inquisition anyway. That pack was very weak though. Um, here we have... Tundra is great. I love Tundra. Bolas' Citadel is a card I really want to build around. If I can get there. I don't think it's a card I'm going to be taking this early in this pack. I think there's quite a few good cards that will probably come around. Um, or quite a few good, good cards that'll be taken before this, so hopefully this comes around. Like, people definitely take Grave Titan, Arena, Hazaret, and Restoration Angel, and stuff like that before that. I think I'm just going to take the good mana. Tundra is it's a duel, keeps us open. We'll start there. Um, okay. There's a Duress. I think I like Duress more than Inquisition most of the time. Card is very nice. Uh, Detecting Probe is also pretty good. Just, the information is so relevant. Um, and depending on what deck you're playing, if you have like any kind of, you know, interaction, playing Duress and, or Detecting Probe, seeing they don't have anything to hit with Duress is super useful, or like knowing how to sequence your plays. So let's say your opponent has a very good 4-drop, you know not to tap out when they're playing their 4-mana play, so you can counter it. Um, just stuff like that is super valuable. I'm leaning towards just taking Lotus Bloom and trying, doing, trying to do something sweet, but Chandra is also just real good. There's so many cards. All these packs are like just medium enough where I don't really know where to go. So I think I'm just going to take the Duress. I think Duress is a really nice... Ooh, Fast Bond. Ooh, High Tide. <laughs> I think High Tide's better than Fast Bond. Uh, this card is broken. I think it's one of the best Storm Enablers in the cube and nobody takes it. I'm just going to take High Tide here. It like... Again, we're not guaranteeing we're going Storm, but you can even just play a value High Tide. Like, there's so many different options here. I think Chromox sets us up to do the most broken things. The next pick maybe would be, like, Garrick. I love Mana Tithe. But Mana Tithe will probably come around because, again, nobody takes it for whatever reason. So I can take that. So Colonnade goes well if we are ending up, like, Cheons. Because we already have a Tundra, so, like, it makes a White Splash very easy. Other than that, there's like a regrowth, which I probably don't want. I like Phyrexian Revoker, and I think Containment Priest is good, but I'm just going to take the Colonnade. Okay, I mean, that's a very late Yawgmoth's will, so that's something to consider. I have High Tide and Duress, so if I get like a Lion's Eye Diamond, the problem is all my fixing is for white, so I could just take like a Gideon and go that route, but Yawgmoth's will is more interesting. Okay, that is a very late Time Twister. Why Why is this going so late? Holy cow. All right, well, who knows what we're... Okay. And an Imperial Seal. Not going to complain about this. I like Banefire in Storm decks, but Imperial Seal is just better when you have something as broken as, like, Yawgmoth's Will. There's our Bolus's Citadel. Um, is that better than Dark Petition? I'm going to try it. I already... I mentioned it in the beginning that I'm going to try and build it on this card, and I have the deck to do it now. So we kind of have to go for it. If we could wheel Mirari's Wake, that would be awesome. I think it was from the next pack. It might have been from the Citadel pack. I don't remember. You know what is a very good combo with uh, Bolus' Citadel Lotus Bloom? A real good card to see on top. It's not really good with anything else, so I could see just taking Probe, but I like Lotus Bloom here because it lets you cast Bolus' Citadel, and then you can also use it, like Bolus' Citadel, to play Lotus Bloom. Uh, I think. I'm pretty sure that's how that one works. I'll take Yaw Heartmaster. Heartmaster is the one I'm most likely to sideboard. Um, you know, if I end up short on card draw, bargain is good. I do have the ability to splash Kaya. 
I'll take Bargain just in case I end up short on card draw. Regrowth is good. Last pick, Hellrider. Well, red is uh, particularly open. Ooh, Mana Crypt. Mana Crypt is really nice. This deck's going to do a lot of damage to itself, but this card is better than a lot of the Mox in. Like, this card is better than a Mox Pearl would be in this deck, because I don't think we're going to be playing white. And so, like, it just adds two mana. The damage doesn't matter. We're playing Storm, so we should be killing them before we die to our own, like, Bolas' Citadel and stuff. On the wheel, I would like to pick up a Worm Coil Engine, Ancestral Vision, or a Mer Battle Sphere, probably. But this card's very good. Uh, interesting. There's a Misty Rainforest. I don't think I'm playing Regrowth, but I'm not necessarily ruling it out. Misty Rainforest, Creeping Tar Pit. I'm trying to wheel Thousand Year Storm, if I even play it in this deck. And then we could also take Kiki Jiki and try and go that route. I think I'm just going to take the fetch. It's like decent with Yawgmoth's Will and some other stuff. And we need good mana because we're trying to be high tide. Like, that's the main focus here. Uh, man. I'm not really playing Trop. I think Fast Bond didn't wheel. So I could just take Brain Freeze and, like, kind of guarantee I get there. Um, Ramen Up Excavator is also pretty nice. Um, it lets you just, like, play fetches over and over and over again. But I think I'm just going to guarantee that I get the Brain Freeze. And then I can wheel some of the other cards here. Ooh, Mind Twist. This is a pretty decent Mind Twist deck with Mana Crypt and Chrome Box. I'm not really missing on much besides like a brainstorm, but that was a decently late mind twist. Um, I can take Thoughtseize, Charter Course, Baleful Strix, probably what we're looking at. I could take Lightning Bolt if I want to go into like Thousand Year Storm. But I think I like Thoughtseize. Disrupting your opponent is nice. Ooh, Demonic Tutor. That's pretty good. We really want a Lion's Eye Diamond or obviously Black Lotus. Uh, keep in mind, Goblin Welder plus Lotus Bloom is kind of awesome. If you, like, discard it, you can Welder it into play. And then the mana cost doesn't matter. Wow. And here's where we decide if we want to be base black or base blue. Both of these are amazing cards for the deck. Um, we do have a lot of black going on, like Duress, Seal, Demonic Tutor, Yawgwas, but Frantic Search just generates a ridiculous amount of mana with High Tide. Like, on its own, it's... With, if you go High Tide Frantic Search, it's zero mana. It's got to be better because it it's mana and card draw. Like if you Frantic Search into Yawgmoth's Will, the cards you discard, you can just use. It's unfortunate that both of these are in the same pack. And hopefully nobody takes it as a sign that Storm is open, but I think Frantic Search is just the better card here. Uh, we can take Dark Confidant, Thing in the Ice, or Batter Skull. Huh. An early Confidant can just win. It makes Bullis' Citadel a little bit more awkward. But I don't even have to play Citadel. I don't love Thing in the Ice. I think it's kind of weak. I'll just take Confidant. Having card draw is never a bad thing. Um, Gearhulk has impressed me in Storm quite a bit. Especially when you're playing things like High Tide. I'll take Thousand Year Storm, but I don't think this deck really needs it. Ooh. Okay, so what creatures do I have? Dark Confidant. Metamorph and Gear Hulk. So I can take Oath of Druids. Um, I have like a Misty Rainforest, so if I get like an Emrakul, for example, I can do that. Or I can take a Chain Lightning, which is good with Thousand Year Storm. I like Oath of Druids. I think that upside is pretty high. Uh, I'll take a Wilderness Reclamation. I doubt I'd do anything with it, but who knows. Sure, I'll take a Pernicious Deed. All right, this the end of that pack was not ideal. I wish Dark Ritual was somewhere we could have taken it, but... Basically, if we find like an Emrakul, I can just cut Dark Confidant and Gear Hulk and just kind of go that way. I think Storm is open, but the packs aren't really being too kind to us. Mystical Tutor for Yogwill is great. We really want to find LED because right now our deck, not the best Yogmoth's Will deck. Um, Azoria Signet, Jace, and Gonti would all be nice pickups, but we got to take the Tutor here. Also, just being able to find a draw seven at any time is great. Oh man, gotta take Time Spiral because we have High Tide, but Mox Diamond and Vents are both great cards. Time Spiral is just better though. Uh, what do we got here? Coercive Portal, Baral, Treasure Cruise, Knight's Whisper. Um, Baral helps a little bit. I'm leaning towards the Coercive Portal just because it's like repeatable card draw, but it is kind of slow. Like also Baral should come around. Cruise is decent. It's kind of bad with Dark Confidant. I don't think I'm playing Oath. Yeah, Treasure Cruise is kind of bad with Dark Confidant. 
and kind of bad with Yawgmoth's will, but it's good in general. And again, I, I don't have to play him. He's a one mana draw three. I think I'm going to take that over Coercive Portal. I think in general, like when I'm not sure what to do, taking the fast, like the instant card draw has generally been more productive than taking one that takes time. Because um, like, let's say you Mind's Desire and hit Coercive Portal, it doesn't really help you. And if you have draw sevens in your deck, it's better just to get the cards right away. There's Tendrils, makes the decision pretty easy. Although, I don't even think Tendrils is great in this deck. Uh, I could take a Gruel Signet. Maybe I'll play it. There's our Mind's Desire. Okay. Mind's Desire is helpful. I don't have... This deck is missing a couple things, like a way to generate mana. Like a High Tide is our best shot at it. I think I gotta take this, but... Ooh, Watery Grave. That was awesome. Wow, Watery Grave was good. That makes High Tide so much better. Definitely going to take that. That's a very late Splinter Twin, but Cabal Ritual makes Yawgmoth's Will a lot better. So I feel better about that. Wow, we got Jace. I like Jace more than Gaunti because most of what our opponent's cards do are just going to be bad for us. Super unfortunate we didn't get a Lion's Eye Diamond, but it happens. We could take a Progenitus to go with our Oath of Druids. We got Baral as we expected. So, yeah, we're just straight up Blue Black Storm with like a lot of good cards here. Frantic Search. I don't know about Metamorph. That can be a pretty easy cut. 27 with a Mana Crypt. So this is kind of the mana. I think I might just play it like this because Chromox is kind of like a land. So I think as it stands, this will probably be the deck. Maybe I get rid of Gruul Signet for something. Um... Guess I take empty. I don't need empty. I'm gonna take Vampire Nighthawk. I already have tendrils. Um, sure, I'll take Nicol Bolas. Not gonna play it. Mastermind's Acquisition could maybe be playable if I feel like I need more uh, tutors. So this is what I'm working with. I think I don't want this. I'm not sure if I want Bolas' Citadel. It's kind of a six mana do nothing a lot of the time. It's pretty awkward with Treasure Cruise, but I don't, like, I think it's probably better than Mastermind's Acquisition. What I could do is this, and then if I want to tutor it up, I can. We'll try it. I've never been able to play it before. And uh, we do have the Lotus Bloom to make it work, so we'll see how that goes. Seven, six. I want more islands than this. Eight, five. So I have five, six, seven, eight black sources. 15 lands. Maybe I just get rid of Gruul Signet. It's double off color, which is pretty bad. And then just add another island. Because this deck wants to make land drops. I have High Tide Time Spiral. I don't think Yawgmoth's Will is really good in this deck, but I don't think it's terrible. Like, I at least have one Cabal Ritual. And it's good with Frantic Search and stuff like that. Yeah. This deck is fine. It's really slow. Like, I, I almost want to add more blue mana just to make high tide that much better. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I need to play this many black sources. So this is gonna be the deck. I will see you all round one. Oh boy, uh, can't keep this one. This one's pretty good actually. I'm gonna keep this, get rid of tendrils, don't really want that, but Lotus Bloom will be good later on. And I can turn one duress into a mind twist. Hopefully they're not playing like mono red aggro, but I guess we'll find out. Duress. Sort of, whoa, what is going on over here? Phyrexian Arena, Sword of Feast and Famine, Glorybringer, P and Kirin. Well, they're like very far away from casting a Phyrexian Arena, unless Arid Mesa can fetch black. And Sword is okay. I think I just take this Sword. I'm kind of banking on them not hitting black sources because their mana looks really bad. I, I imagine Arid Mesa can at least find a black source, but I don't know. I, I think me getting hit for damage is a lot worse than them drawing cards. They drew a swamp. Okay. There's their arena turn three. Yep. Scrubland. All right. Their mana's not too bad. Arid Mesa's gone. Arena's down. That's both good and bad. It incrementally decreases the amount of storm I have to hit. Um, I think I'm just going to mind twist them for two. I really just want to cripple their hand, and I think I'm going to be using my mana later on. So planes and PR are down. So their 4-drop is gone. 
They're down to 18. They drew Gull to Shrine, but no playables. Okay, maybe they did. Tanglewire. Fair enough. So I tap all my stuff. Honestly, though, this isn't too bad if I can keep hitting land drops. Demonic Tutor. Okay. Go. They drew very well, I will say. But next turn, I can um, Demonic Tutor. Not sure what I'm going to find. Okay. So I'm going to tap Lotus Bloom. One. I can Demonic Tutor for a Thought Seize. But I think I want to find something like Cabal Ritual. I have to tap four? Oh, okay. There's Time Twister. Demonic Tutor. I think I'm just going to Demonic Tutor for an island, to be honest. Like, I want to hit land drops. Or I guess Watery Grave is better. Because I think I'm just going to Time Twister. Yeah, let's just get a land. Go. No, that's kind of bad. Okay. And their draws. I mean, they're drawing two cards a turn, so that'll happen. So they tap two things. My speaker just turned off. So if they have a, a red source, they can play Glorybringer. Elspeth. Okay, sure. So I tap two. I think I'm just going to double tap black here. Or we'll do... Yeah, because if I draw high tide, I kind of want to be able to go for it. Drawing Jace is decent. Um, Treasure Cruise costs eight. I can't actually do that. So let's play Jace. I really want to hit mana. They actually can't kill Jace. Okay, I'll draw. There's our mana. Okay, okay. This is better. So now next turn I tap one. I'm not really dying that quickly. So they like probably glory bringer kill my Jace. As it turns out, taking Sword of Feast and Famine would have been or taking Phyrexian Arena would have been a lot better. My opponent would have like zero cards in hand and no pressure right now. But they're not even... What? They're not even Glorybringering? What are they casting instead? I hope it's a post-combat Glorybringer. That would be awesome. Shrine of Burning Rage. Sure. So I tap a Swamp. Drawing a Swamp. I don't think I'm dying next turn, but my opponent is drawing a good amount of cards. Thoughtseize helps. So they have Glorybringer and one unknown. Hmm. I don't really want to lose the life. So how much do I take next turn? Like, one, two, three, four, five. Nowhere near lethal, so let's Thoughtseize them. Vindicate, Glorybringer. I'm just going to take Vindicate. I don't want to lose a land. If they tap out for Glorybringer, I take... Four, five, six, seventy-nine, and that's okay. So I do that. I think I want to treasure cruise and get rid of cards I don't want to hit off Time Twister, like Thought Seize, Lotus Bloom, Mind Twist, Duress. Uh, actually, I don't really want to hit Jace Balerin as well, but I do want to hit Demonic Tutor, so I'm gonna go like this, and we can play Brawl. Actually, they can kill Brawl if we do that with Glorybringer. Um, we'll wait. Uh, they can kill Brawl. Yeah, they can kill Brawl. We're gonna wait. We get one turn, they have... Wow, that's so many triggers. And they still don't really know that I'm playing Storm. I'll vote for Carnage, because Carnage would be awesome. So they had just Glorybringer. They drew three cards, so... The odds of them drawing something that's rough is high. But the odds of them doing that and Glorybringer is pretty low. I just want to see a glory bringer. That's okay. That's actually better. <laughs> I'm very, very happy they went with that. Keeping my life total high is my top priority. So I tap nothing. I draw. Don't need Dark Confidant. So you're going to start with Mana Crypt. Then Brawl will eventually pay for himself, I think. I guess I have to tap a blue source, huh? I think I'm just going to go for Time Twister as opposed to Mind's Desire. Um, what I'm asking myself is, do I play an island? I think I wait to play an island because that just represents so much mana. Oh, I can just do this. Time Twister. Okay, so Frantic Search is where we start, I guess. I'm definitely going to be playing an island. 
So let's do that. Then we frantic search, and I'm just gonna untap all these islands. Okay, we are fine here. So I don't need Dark Confidant, land, untap these. So I can Demonic Tutor for one mana. That seems pretty good. Um, I can actually just get Tendrils and kill them. Or I can just get Yawgmoth's Will, actually. That seems even better. So I can go Cabal Ritual. I don't have Threshold, but that's okay. Gives me mana. Now I Yawgmoth's Will. Then I can Cabal Ritual. Then I can Demonic Tutor. Then I can just Tendrils them. I actually should have um, gotten Brain Freeze so that I could see their deck, but they die. This seems like a very, very tough matchup for their deck, because their deck doesn't do anything, really. And the reason for the extra Storm was to play around, like, Swords of Plowshares on their Batter Skull. So... I can get a Metamorph? I think my deck is good as it is. I have a little bit of Disruption and then just Storm combo. This seems pretty good. I can Imperial Seal for Mana Crypt and then just Time Twister. And that can just completely, like, disrupt their hand. And I can do it. I'm going to take a lot of damage to do this, but I think it's worth it to get Watery Grave. Yeah. Just Mana Crypt into Time Twister. Hopefully they don't Thought Seize me. Then I'm just left with nothing. Sure. So it gives them a couple more cards, but that's okay. Let's go Island, Mana Crypt, Time Twister. Not the best hand. We gotta go off kinda quick because we are gonna be taking damage from Mana Crypt. I wouldn't expect my opponent to be playing any Eldrazi. Ugh. Inquisition taking Jace. That is actually quite good. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> opponent loves their Tangle Wires. I can Brain Freeze myself to have six cards in Graveyard. That's not enough, so we will tap them all. Let's win the flip. No! Oh boy. Ooh, Mystical Tutor's good. Um, I'm trying to think what Mystical Tutor will be grabbing. I know we can Frantic Search on Upkeep to like undo the Time Tangle Wire. So if I can draw High Tide, that would be nice. Shrine of Burning Rage, you got it. Weird deck. Uh, Yeah, we're not going to Tutor yet. I'm just going to wait and see what I draw. Tapping down Mana Crypt, this. Three things, okay. If I'm going to draw a land... Okay, I want to flip, that's good. If I'm going to draw land, please be an island. Bolus' Citadel. Kind of awkward with my uh, life total situation. But we'll see what happens here. I'm very tempted to just brain freeze myself and then tutor for Yawgmoth's Will. Like, if my opponent plays pretty much any spell, I think I might just do that. Elspeth. Um, yeah. So I'm going to take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... If I get unlucky on Mana Crypt Flips, I could just die here. So we do... Hmm. The problem is if I Brain Freeze and hit Yawgmoth's Will. <sighs> this is challenging. I think I definitely want to cast Mystical Tutor now. And I think I just gotta hope for that gameplay. Like, they play a spell and I don't die to my own Mana Crypt Flips. Yeah, we'll do that. Tap these two now. Let's win the flip. No, oh, down to nine. We draw Yawgmoth's Will, the one we knew about. So next turn is when we go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can Treasure Cruise, but then I can't Brain Freeze. So let's just wait. Hopefully my opponent plays a spell. And this is my last turn, because I'm taking probably six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. I'm I'm, I think if I miss this Mana Crypt flip, I lose. And that's best case scenario. Like, if my opponent does nothing, pretty much that's it. Because they can just activate the reaches. Duretti. Oh, Duretti kill my Mana Crypt? Okay. Actually, no, that killing my Mana Crypt is not the worst. Not a good idea, because I, it's a 50-50 chance of me just dying. What are they targeting? Why are they killing their own Signet? Okay, I don't... I, I stand by their decision here. I take three. And then they're going to pop Shrine if I die. 
All right, we brain freeze ourselves. Cabal Ritual High Tide. That was a pretty good hit. And let's just not die here. Tap down a swamp. We're going to win the flip. No, <laughs> we're dead. Wait, they let me untap. Maybe they don't know. All right, let's uh, play Yawgmoth's Will. We're just going to pretend like everything's fine. No, they saw it. Okay, fine. They really, like, I could have gained life somehow. They should have just done it before. Um, Their deck is super jank. I almost feel like just putting in a Vampire Nighthawk. No, 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 no. That's bad. All right, we're going to be on the play. Being on the play makes all the difference. We get Baral, the Yawgmoth's Will. We're not going to be taking, like, three damage every turn. Leading on Island. Maybe shouldn't have done that in case they have Strip Mine. Okay. Hmm, Mana Crypt. Not going to play around Mana Tithe because I haven't seen it. Oh, no. Okay. Acceptable. Not the worst thing. More Islands is always great. Uh, no neat reason to do anything yet. Um, I don't have really any payoffs. Um, I guess the only reason to do something is in case they, like, Inquisition my Yawgmoth's will. Kind of hope this is Tanglewire. Sword of Feast and Famine is acceptable. Their deck is so weird. Watery Grave will enter tapped. Again, just keep making land drops, and then when we need to Frantic Search, we can. But I don't want to burn the Yawgmoth's will early. Oh, that is... Fair. They take Yogwill, I guess. I don't think I have a way to kill that, so whatever they take is just like permanently gone. They could also take Frantic Search because that digs me the deepest. Like Yogmoth's Will doesn't actually do anything with my current hand. Yeah, I think that was a good take. That being said, if I draw, I mean, I think even just like Tendrils kills almost. Like one, two, Tendrils, Yogwill, Cabal Ritual Tendrils, like something like that. Oh, yes. Do I just go for it? I think I just go for it here. Because I have, I guess, just Time Spiral to untap everything. Hmm. So basically, I'm deciding I can burn a Cabal Ritual to play Bolus' Citadel. Because if I hit a land, I would much prefer that. But... Oh, boy. They have three cards in hand. They could just, like, straight up abrade my Bolus' Citadel. Let's Cabal Ritual. I'm feeling it. One, two, three, four, five. I think I tapped wrong. Let's play the Citadel. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm playing it. Let's play High Tide. Okay, let's play Tendrils. That gains me a ton of life, and I'm getting a land. They might die here? I don't actually know. Land. Torrential Gear Hulk. Flashing back High Tide. Holy cow, this card is broken. Holy cow, this card is broken. Oh, I can also get Cabal Ritual. Uh, I think they're just dead if I do this. Because I could just Tendrils them again. High Tide adds... Yeah, because I need all the black mana. That's kind of awesome. Storm count is 7. So I can Mind's Desire here. So I shuffle, and I could play Instance off the top if they show up. Mystical Tutor. Uh, I can tutor for an instant. I don't know what I have, but we're going to find out. I guess I could just Brain Freeze them. <laughs> this card's awesome! Mill, Mill. I get to see their deck too, which is exciting. Alright, so they have no deck. I just have to make sure I don't kill myself here. So I can play Dark Confidant, I can play all this stuff. Um, I guess I just play Jason Uptick. That's the easiest way here. Good game! <laughs> Bolus' Citadel gets there. See you next round. Alright, we're here for round two against Destroy. We're on the play. Good for us, bad for our opponent. Um, yeah, I'll keep. This is uh, kind of going to be on the game plan of just mind twist them. And then figure it out from there. Hopefully draw some type of like time spiral, time twister thing. And we're going to lead with islands. Again, for high tide. Okay. Polluted Delta is scary. There's our high tide. Um, I'm going to be patient. Just keep playing islands. I don't really want to mind twist for one. And th this is the downside of mind twist, right? It's 
just worse than him to Torok in this situation. But it will get better over time. Signet, okay. Okay, I was going to Mind Twist, but I think I'm just going to Duress, and then next turn I can Mind Twist them. Hopefully I don't regret this decision. But there, there's only so much they can do on 4 mana. Dark Ritual, Tanglewire, Phyrexian Revoker. Uh, I guess if they play Tanglewire, that's not the worst thing. I'll just take a Dark Ritual. Their hand is really bad. Also, I think they are playing Storm, so we're in the mirror match. Our deck is very well set up for the mirror match. Hopefully this is just a... yeah, sure. Okay, well we don't really get an untap step, but neither do they. This favors us if we can keep drawing lands. <laughs> I was just gonna say, the only thing we don't want to draw is six drops. Although, uh, we're like kind of close to playing Bull Assisted at all. Oh, thank you. Telling my opponent I'm recording this one, so they'll finally be in a video. We'll see what happens here. <laughs> this looks like janky storm mirror match, so I don't know. So Tanguire's gone, and they uh, show game log. I think I got rid of, they played an island. Okay. Revoker, what do they name? Black Lotus? I don't, Jace the Mind Sculptor, fair enough. So Revoker's down, so they have a swamp, I believe. So let's tap down everything but a black source, because I do have Thoughtseize in my deck as well. Ooh, Imperial Seal is good, let's do that. What do I want to find? <laughs> I know I wanted something, but um, Frantic Search is interesting. I think I like Frantic Search. Um, being able to cast Bolus' Citadel would be good, but I'm, I'm a little bit away from that. Putting down Jace would be okay, but not the best. And then a draw seven is fine, but it gives them cards as well, so I don't really want to do that. I mean, I could just hit an island, but I think I can probably Frantic Search into islands, and then I have Frantic Search in my graveyard for like Yawgmoth's Will. It also fills my graveyard for Cabal Ritual. I can flash it back with Torrential Gear Hulk. I can use it to effectively undo Tanglewire as well. Because like I I float the mana from Tanglewire, tap out, and then Tanglewire resolves, and then I frantic search and untap. It's not as good with um I'm just gonna say they play the swamp, so. Yeah, it's not as good when you're only tapping down two mana sources. Frantic search. I think at this point I just Cabal Ritual Mind Twist them for two. Or I can wait. Hmm. Yeah, that seems good. If their hand is bad, then that's better for me. Please don't be cryptic. Okay, guess I'm given I can work with. So they're gonna have four cards in hand. But this is the classic problem with gifts I'm given. They're getting rid of the best four cards in their deck. So their like draws are going to be very, very empty for the next few turns, hopefully. This is kind of awkward. Frantic Search was worse than just an island there. Because I had to burn Cabal Ritual, I could have just gone island mind twist, you know? All right, Coercive Portal. Oh, Emery, do they have um Black Lotus? So I'm choosing the ones to put into their graveyard. I feel like giving them Tassiger is okay. Emery Black Lotus represents mana. I think Tezzeret is very good. I don't want to give them Tezzeret Emery, so I think I just give them Tassiger Coercive Portal. That lets them use their mana very efficiently. I could also give them Tezzeret Coercive Portal, because that's like the two most expensive plays. But Tezzeret kills me in literally one turn, because they just play him untick, uptick, and then they ultimate and I die. So I think I just give them, so I'm not giving them Tezzeret, and I'm not that scared of Emery. I guess that just lets them keep Tangle Wiring. Sure, they can have Tasker Course of Portal. And again, I can discard some of them as well. Upheaval Vampiric, wow. All right, well their hand is Tasker plus Course of Portal. And unfortunately they can play both. Yep, take two. They play both their things. So my best draw is an island. 
they have Tassiger and they have Tassiger activation up, but I can just give them like Gifts Ungiven or something. I think Island is my best. Can I time spiral? I don't think so. I have to tap down. Um, do I go for it this turn? I guess that's the question I have to ask. It's pretty likely my opponent gets to upheaval. Four, five, six. What can I do here? I can high tide. One, two, three. Basically, high tide into frantic search and just have all my mana untapped. No, because I still have to tap to tangle wire. I think I'm just going to tap a swamp here. Yogmoss will. Now I'm intrigued. I gotta go for it. It's like somewhat likely they just get upheaval and kill me. So let's go high tide, three for frantic search, and then I have one, two, three, four, five mana. So if I hit a land, then we're good. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, discarding a swamp. Because I have to go Yogmoss will into frantic search. Right? I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. So I guess I just discard Swamp and... Am I gonna Brain Freeze here? Cause I can like do some weird things like Brain Freeze, Yogg will Brain Freeze. I think I just discard Brain Freeze. And then I go Yogg Moss will Swamp from Graveyard. And I think I, yeah, one, two, three. Swamp from Graveyard, Cabal Ritual. Oh, I tapped wrong. Oh, uh, no, because I needed this double blue. Yeah, so I Cabal Ritual here. Um, now I can Frantic Search. Discarding Gearhulk Swamp. Untap one, two, three. Storm count is five. So High Tide effectively costs nothing, so we play High Tide. Um, the question is, I can Brain Freeze them for a Storm Count of... I have six mana. Um, I can't use any black mana if I want to tendrils. I can duress, imperial seal. Yeah, that's lethal. Duress them. Play imperial seal. And this way, if I whiff, I'm just going to be grabbing. We'll just get a mana crypt. I don't know. Now I brain freeze them. All right, we did it. I just had to think through it. Like, if there was a way for me to. Um, win in the off chance they did have an Eldrazi. Because, you know, you could put like Eldrazi in Storm and it wouldn't be that bad. Uh, what do I want to do in this deck? Um, this opponent... Wait, did this opponent also Tangle Wire me? Why is everyone running Tangle Wire? They're playing Storm for sure. I don't really have a way to disrupt that, so we're just gonna race. And I think I race pretty well. Yeah, this hand's good. I have turn two Demonic Tutor for, um... Probably high tide given I'm playing time spiral, but I could, there's a lot of things I could grab like thought seas, mana crypt. It really depends on what I draw in the two draw steps. Workshop into signet. Okay. I can think of worse plays. That's kind of like playing a land. Drawing island was great. Um, yeah, it just, I'm going to get high tide with time spiral. Depends on what my opponent does. They could have like some really busted workshop starts though. Oh. That seems not that scary. Swamp, Demonic Tutor, High Tide, yeah. Who needs, to who, who needs to disrupt your opponent when they don't actually have any lands that produce mana? Now they do. But they, they only have three mana. Like, Worm Coil Engine would be a little bit scary, but... Oh, it is actually a Worm Coil Engine. Oh, three? Okay, that's pretty good. That is a lot of ramp. So that's not scary. Yeah, they don't even have a creature. Okay, I don't mind that. I have Brain Freeze, which doesn't do anything. I can Jace myself. Time Twister. Fair enough. So I can go High Tide. One, two, three, four, five. So I don't actually have enough because of that Swamp. Um, but if they're just not doing anything, this is totally acceptable. Let's draw. Imperial Seal's good. Let's play Brawl. Um, I guess I play Imperial Seal. I think I'm just going to get Frantic Search. And they die next turn unless they do something super busted like Upheaval. This would be good with Upheaval, I will say. Oh no, it is Upheaval. Oh no. Yep, that's definitely an Upheaval. 
And there's no way for me to like brain freeze them post upheaval either. Because what I was thinking is like they upheaval, I float mana, and then they play like one, two, three, four, five, six, like a bunch of spells, and then I just use that to hit them. They'll get there eventually. I want to see this mana go away. That's what I want to see. That means they're not casting upheaval, but this, like, they wouldn't tap. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see what they got. They get to go, like, Thran Dynamo. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, I regret my Imperial Seal now. I was thinking about waiting in case something like this happened. On the bright side, I can just play only islands. And again, their, their hand didn't do anything before. Man, if I had one more mana for Brain Freeze, though. I... Like, that was very good, I will say, but it doesn't necessarily even win. Um, I don't need Jace. I don't need the Swamp. I'll keep one... No, I'm not even going to keep any Swamps. Um, I don't really need Brain Freeze. And... Oh, I think I'm just going to commit and I'm going to discard Time Twister. We're going to hope they don't have anything, and then we're going to just, like, high tide into Time Spiral. Like, if them hitting us with Sword isn't that scary. This is a lot of mana. I don't like it. Tezzeret. Oh, gosh. I'm so dead. That was a very good last draw. Okay. So they just ultimate Tezzeret and kill me. Let's see where we can get. The answer is nowhere, because I can't even high tide into Frantic Search. Alright, let's play Baral and hope they don't ultimate Tezzeret. They did, alright. On to game three. That was a good draw. Good, good draw. Uh, Metamorph seems okay against, like, the Artifacts Matter deck. Copying a Thran Dynamo I wouldn't complain too much about. But on the play, I don't even think I need it. It's probably better than Gear Hulk. Gear Hulk has been just really bad. So let's just... With Yawgmoth's Will, I don't really need a Gear Hulk. Um... This hand is okay. If I draw a black source, it's good, but I think I can do better. This hand's better, I could just get rid of tendrils. Because Chrome Box could help me accelerate. Yeah. Like if I draw something to Chrome Box turn two, so I can play a turn two Jace, that can definitely help me get ahead. Dude, turn one workshop every game? I think every game, at least the last couple. Uh, actually, that's fine. That's, I mean, that's effectively like them mulliganing. I think it's totally fine to exile Cabal Ritual to Chromebox. So I can Demonic Tutor, but I don't know what I want a Demonic Tutor for. And this Tengwar is going to make things take a while, so I might as well just wait. Yeah, I'm just going to F6 through this. Chalice for zero. Into Emery, wow. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Emery can Revoker. Good thing I didn't Chrome Box. Let's play another Island Pass. I don't want them to Revoker my Chrome Box because that would be kind of really bad. Play F6 again. Their deck's good. Their deck is good. And they're going to basically put me under an Emery Tangle Wire lock. So I got to try and go off when Tangle Wire is at zero. What did they target? I don't actually know. We'll find out. I'm guessing it's a Signet. Yeah. So I tap two. Misty was good. So this can get Demonic Tutor. Like I can do this, grab black. But what does Demonic Tutor find? I want it to be high tide, but then I'm kind of waiting to draw a card draw spell, of which I have many. Yeah, let's just do high tide. I think high tide will be like the best play almost every time. So I think they can revoker and then Tangle Wire goes to zero and dies and then they replay it if you can't sacrifice it. Oh, okay, no, it does go to zero. Okay, so now I tap one and the next turn I go to zero and I'm gonna try and storm off that turn if nothing goes terrible. Ho hopefully they don't just like Tezzeret kill me again. They revoker. They didn't see that much that Revoker was good with. I don't I don't remember at least. Uh-oh. I don't like that. Okay. That's a good one to name. I don't have that. As long as this is not Tezzeret, 
I think we're maybe okay. Or is this scary? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then they can activate Urza. Yeah, that's not great. No! God, why? That was the perfect. Oh, that's so bad. Oh my god. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> it was worse than just playing Tezzeret. It was Urza into Tezzeret. All right. And we have to deal with Tangle Wire. I have to draw Time Spiral. I don't even know if that works, like, gets me there, but I just have to draw Time Spiral. And it says taps and untapped, so I can't, like, use the mana to float for High Tide. All right, Time Spiral. Uh, Yogmos will, maybe. I'm not going to play Jace, so this actually might get there. Chromebox exiling Jace. Use that to play High Tide. Cabal Ritual. We need black mana, so I have to Yawgmoss will like this. I don't think I have enough to get there. Now I can, I mean, High Tide basically taps for free here. Oh, I didn't play land, that's good, yeah. Let's play High Tide. Misty. Fetch. They sent me a message. <laughs> <coughs> well, this is what happens sometimes. We do that, we Cabal Ritual. I think I'm probably just going to be getting um Time Spiral if I can cast it. I have five, six, seven, eight, so I can get Time Spiral. Storm count is seven, so that's not, I can make it eight. That's not enough. I can get Bolus's Citadel. Let's just get Time Spiral though. That has the highest chance of getting there. Okay, Mind's Desire plus Treasure Cruise makes me feel pretty confident. That's all the lands. I can play a Baral. Makes things cheaper. I don't really want to use my black mana, but that's like a free spell of Mind's Desire. And I can hit Cabal Ritual. Yeah, let's just Thought Seize them. Makes sense. Uh, Brutality, Dark Ritual, Gifts Ungiven. I don't think they can do any of this. It doesn't really matter. I don't want to tap too much. Let's Mind's Desire. Storm count of 11, that should just do it. Frantic Search probably just seals the deal. Yeah, Mystical Tutor just wins. Beautiful. Cast a Lotus Bloom. Uh, tendrils them. In response, Brain Freeze them. The perfect stack. <laughs> Wow, that was a pretty clutch storm kill right there. <laughs> that was very, very close for the opponent. They fought hard. Let's see their deck. Gonti, they had Academy. Wow. Sword of Fire and Ice seems really bad, but sometimes you just got to do it. Deck was sweet, that's for sure. Same targets. I think someone said there's a like a hotkey for this, but... I don't know it, so we're just going to click a bunch. Kill our opponent. Good games! We're in the finals! Let's go, right? Yeah, see you guys there. Alright, we are here in the finals against Drake Aaron. We're on the play, which feels great, and we're going to go first. Uh... No. <laughs> I am not impressed. Oh, that's a good hand. I like this one. Um, I'm going to keep this. I think this is not a Bolus' Citadel hand, because we're just going to do a quick time spiral. Um, let's play Island. I think I will be mind twisting. Whoa. Uh oh. I don't want to get mana drained. Chalice kicked once. So they have five cards. I think I just mind twist them for uh, three here. They have like a good amount of mana, and I just want to limit their options. Hit you for three. Go down to two cards. Scarab God, Soulfire Grandmaster. So that. Definitely signifies to me that they have Time Walk in their deck. Trinket Mage for Black Lotus. Okay. Two locks. That's crazy. Two, three, four. Tails never fails. Let's go. Tails always fails. Uh, what's our best draw? Something that draws more cards, like Jace. Jace is like basically draw a card, gain two life at this point. Island is fine. 
You know, we really hit like a bunch of bad cards with that uh, mind twist. Maybe I should have waited, but they don't know. I think more or less what I'm going to do is just like wait as long as possible and then just try and like time spiral into win the game. Hey, they sent me a message. Well, thanks. I think, has everyone been a fan? I don't know. We're getting a lot more uh, YouTube followers in these videos. Hopefully they don't just have a counter spell. Hopefully we win a flip eventually. And, oh my gosh, if they were a real fan, they would let us win flips. Oh, I thought it said they sent something. We're just gonna die to Mana Crypt, I think. Yeah, all right, Tails never fails. Oh my gosh. All right, Jace is good, Jace is good. Just gonna down tick Jace. Time Twister. All right, well, we got some fail saves here. If they wanna kill Jace, then I at least gain some life. No, then dealing click? Okay, sure. I'm, I'm okay with this. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Didn't need him anyway. Come on, Mana Crypt, we gotta win one, right? Okay, whew. Feel a bit better about this now. Um. Not really any way to cheat the system with Chrome Mox. Oh, someone else is sending me messages, I guess. Not this person. So let's just play Time Spiral. I need to go off quickly. I can't wait that many turns. And if they counter this, maybe I should have gone with Time Twister first, but oh, that's good. That is good. I can Mind Twist their entire hand, but I think I like going with Demonic Tutor for Frantic Search. I can probably just do it here if they don't have a counter spell. Demonic Tutor for Frantic Search. And then I can Mystical Tutor for whatever I want. Probably High Tide. Have to use a Frantic Search, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it's fine. Discard our Fetch and uh, Island. Untap here. Here, here, because I need the black. So now I can go high tide, Yogmoss will, high tide, uh, frantic search. Ooh, that's good. Discard these two. Uh, I need black. Um, I can demonic tutor. So I can brain freeze them out if they have an Eldrazi. That's a little bit bad. Um, I can grab Time Twister and have like an almost a term. Oh, mine's Desire. That seems like the best of all the worlds. Storm count is nine. It's mine's Desire then. What do they say? I'll be sure to check out the video, yeah. <laughs> There's tendrils, okay. That'll do it. We are up in the finals with Storm against Infinite Moxin dot deck. Uh Gear Hulk just seems really bad unless I hit it exactly off of Mind's Desire. But they have like so much mana, I, I would rather have, I think I'd rather have Metamorph. Yeah. Wow, this hand is busted. Turn one Brawl, turn two Mind Twist. If I was on the play, this would be unbeatable. Ooh, Cabal Ritual. So let's go, I'm gonna take a bunch of damage doing this, but here we are. Watery Grave untapped, Mana Crypt. Brawl. Next turn we mind twist their whole hand. So you gotta gotta do what you're gonna do next turn. And then we hope to not die to our own mana crypt again. But like it effectively I just need to draw a single blue source in the next like seven draw steps or something. Cause unless they like go like Black Lotus really busted stuff here, they're just not gonna have a hand. Tails never fails. Yeah. Tendrils, that's pretty good. Swamp, mind twist them for four. Uh, one, two, three. I think I can just do this. Wow, their hand was bad. That'll do it, all right. Now I just need to not whiff on my draw steps. Don't mind that. Frantic search was good, not gonna play it. Uh, I guess I do, I really wanna hit land drops. Discard. Duress and 
Having tendrils in hand is actually not that bad because I can just use it to gain some life. So maybe I just discard a Mind's Desire and then I can Time Spiral. I think the tendrils plays... Actually, I can do it this turn. I can play tendrils. Let's get rid of Mind's Desire. Yeah, let's just tendrils them. Make it uh, harder for me to die. Play land, go. Next turn, I can just like... Cabal Ritual into Time Spiral or wait. I'm not really in any rush. I take one. That's not that bad. I lost the flip, but we're making land drops. Um, I could just Time Spiral. That gives them a hand again. Let's wait. I could be drawing them into counter spells and such, but... Hmm. I don't know if I prefer this or not. I don't think I do. Especially because that means they hit me for more damage every turn. Wow, my crypt flips have been very bad. Okay, um, let's Demonic Tutor. Actually, I kind of want life, so we're just going to go for it, I think. Demonic Tutor for High Tide. Then we go High Tide, Cabal Ritual, Time Spiral. So I'm gonna get tons of blue. Yeah, we'll keep all this black open. Yeah, that's game. This deck was kind of busted. Um, I can play an island here. I can frantic search. Discarding some lands. Untap these. I can thought seize them to just to make sure they don't have any like force of wills or anything. The abandoned mystical tutor. Yeah, there's force of will. Good work, Thoughtseize. You did it. Um, so we Demonic Tutor. This is just going to grab uh, Tendrils. So now I can like Tendrils them. I guess I can Mystical Tutor or Mind's Desire. It doesn't really matter. That's Storm Count of 8. So I Tendrils them. That's lethal. And then I can like Yawgmoth's Will and do all that. Wow. We have been crushing it with Storm lately. Holy cow. GG's opponent. That's... <laughs> sorry I've been crushing it so much, but also not sorry, because even if you lose to me when you're like a fan, at least you get to watch me beat other people. So there's a little bit of consolation prize there. I just want to show you guys something. Look at, look at how many cubes I've won in a row here. We're going to go to game history. Look at this. That's, that's a lot of vintage cube won back to back to back to back to back. That's all I'm saying. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let's go back to the deck actually. Uh, over here. This deck went a lot better than I thought it would. It's nice having tendrils in the deck. Bolas' Citadel, the one time I played it was absurd. And then High Tide is just dumb. Like basically every time I won was just the interaction between High Tide, Frantic Search, and Time Spiral. It's, it's a good card. It's a very good card. So if you enjoyed this, um, I'm going to put some links to other Storm decks if you're like new to the channel and just kind of tuning in. I draft a lot of Storm and I, I've been winning so much with it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it.